Good morning and happy Labor Day. I love it when we have a holiday on a Monday. It's like you get an extra day to your weekend. <laughs> because that's exactly what it is. Um, so today being Labor Day, a lot of people are probably going to be going to cookouts. Um, let me turn this way. There we go. That's better. It's so bright out. Um, but a lot of people are probably going to be going to cookouts. They're going to be getting together with family. You know, whatever you're going to be doing, chances are there's probably going to be more food and different food than you would typically eat. It's always a good idea to have a little reminder on days like today that calories do count on the weekends and holidays. Um, whatever extra you eat is yours. You get to keep that. You get to keep those calories. Um, sure, you could possibly burn them off, but do you really want to work that hard to burn off that many calories? It's really hard. you got to work really, really hard to burn off that number of calories. Um, in addition, you know, d don't treat it like it's your last meal. I mean, sure, if you want to have something today, um, have it. But have a little bit of it. It's not like you're dying tomorrow and you can never have it again. I think we, we approach holidays where there might be food involved with this idea that, like, we got to eat as much of it as possible because we're never going to eat again. Um, maybe you won't eat again like that until the next holiday, which, let me remind you, Halloween is coming up very soon because we are in September. After that, Thanksgiving, and then after that, Christmas, and then after that, Valentine's Day, and St. Patrick's Day, and Cinco de Mayo, and on and on and on. In the South, we like to get together and have food, but trust me, you can have just as good of a time without that food, and without the regret and the remorse that comes with it, as well as the shame. So, keep that in mind today. Have it if you really want it, but also do you really want it. This morning I was whipping up a little dessert, little um, strawberry trifle to take to a cookout that we're going to later. I will not be eating this dessert. Um, however, there are going to be a lot of other people there and my kids will be there and, you know, lots of family that will eat it and there's nothing wrong with eating it. Please don't think I'm shaming anybody for eating it, but this is specifically to those of us who are working on goals and really trying to be disciplined and stick to our plan. Um, you know, this morning I was, as I was whipping up the whipped cream and the pudding and the, you know, all the stuff that goes in it, I got some on my hands and I was inclined just to like take it and lick it, um, just pull it off my fingers, you know, like what you do when you bake. But here's the thing. This is when, this is what I do in the kitchen and this, this is really, really helpful to me. I think to myself, do I really... Is it really worth it? Really, is it worth it? Is it worth it to me over a small little lick of food? It's not worth it. And that's when I get mad at just, you know, I get, I get mad at it. I get mad at, like, I, I'm going to let a small little sample or tasting of something so small as food derail my goals. Who's in control here? You know? Like, do you, do you get that? Like, when you're in the kitchen and you find yourself about to derail your progress over some food? Do you guys get me? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not worth it. You are in control here. Be the adult. <laughs> That's what it feels like a lot of the time. You gotta be in control of yourself. You gotta you gotta talk some sense into yourself because we're weak. Ooh, we're weak, but it's about getting stronger. So think of that today. Keep that in the back of your mind as you get together with friends and family. Those chips, that dip. It's not worth it. It's not gonna be the end of the world. It's not the worst thing in the world if you don't eat those things. I mean, are you you're you're gonna miss out on that one little meal, but really are you really gonna miss out? I mean, not really. Not in the long run anyway. 
I'm extra motivated today because my abs showed up. I'm excited. That means my body fat definitely is going down, which I will be getting checked later this week. So I'm keeping that in mind for sure. Going into month three, it's all about shredding off as much body fat as possible. So cardio is increased. Um, it's no doubt even more intense on the weights. And the food is more, it's even more clean and restrictive than it has been, which hadn't really been all that restrictive. And restrictive is really, I think, a matter of perspective anyway. Um, but I'm excited going into month three. I, um, I'm really, really excited. Um, just excited to see what is going to come in the next four weeks. How, where, how is this going to end up? Um, what are my results going to be? And I have 100% control over that. If I put the work in and I eat the food that I'm supposed to eat, the results will come. So it's like, I don't know, making a cake that you've never made before <laughs> since we're talking about food and desserts. So I'm excited and I'll keep you guys posted and um, hope you guys will follow along in this journey because every day it's changing and getting better and better. So anyway, y'all be good today. Remember my words. Is it worth it? It's not. Stay strong.